everybody so i'm back vlogging i've literally started daily vlogging <laughs> i wish i was able to daily vlog with college and everything and work i just won't be able to do that but i wish i could um so today let me just swap hands so i can do the other side of my face today me and amy my chummy are going out we went uh we're going out for our birthday which was like a few weeks ago but we've just been we've both just been like so busy um we haven't had a chance to meet up yet so that's what we're doing today we're going to the cinemas and we're going to get some food i think i think that's all we're doing so this morning i've left my makeup on from yesterday Mm, yeah not a great thing to do kids so i'm now taking my makeup off and just making sure my skin's got that hydration back because well i've abused it for leaving this stupid makeup on so i can put some more on yay um but i think we're going out in about an hour or so which will be great. I can't wait. We've got a choice between two films. I love Simon. Blockers. They both sound great. But I do prefer Love, Simon. Just because it actually has like a message behind it. And yeah. The other one's just kind of funny in like a comedy. Whereas this one actually has a true message behind it. Which I've got to love. Um, so now I'm just going to be doing my makeup. I'm just do going very cash, um, not sp splatting it all on. I'm just going to be casual today. Um, and yeah, I'll let you know how I look and I'll probably look better than this. So guys, I am dressed and ready. I've just got me woman jumper on. I practically live in the jumper now. And some leggings on my bums. And then I've no, got my what? denim jacket. <laughs> so, I'm waiting for Amy because she's currently taking so long. It's unreal. And then when she comes, we're gonna go and get the bus. And we're gonna go into town. And I'll tell you what we're doing when we get into town. Everybody, me and Amy are on the bus now. Say hi. Um, we're going into town and I think we're going to get some food first. It depends what film we're watching. What film we're watching? I think Love Simon. You only watch Love Simon? We're going to watch Love Simon, which I told you about earlier, anyways. Um, but that doesn't air till five because the first one is at 20 past two. But it's like, because the buses were late. Literally waited for like two buses and it didn't turn up, so we had to walk all the way to the other one. And now, obviously, you're on it, but um, yeah, it's now two o'clock, and I don't think we're gonna get into town in 20 minutes and get into the cinema, so we're going to get some food first and then get to the cinema. Also, I need to save a primer. I want a new, I don't know if they'll sell them though, but we might do in a sale section. I want like one of these. But not a long one. Do you know what I mean? A short one. Short enough. Not, not a short, cropped one, like a normal sized one. Oh yeah, I know what you mean. I don't know if they're doing. I'm on anything. about this uh, denim jacket. It's black, by the way. <laughs> um, I just don't want a long one anymore. I want one that's black that goes with them. Literally, all black today. Wrapping it. Um, but I don't know where we're going from here. But I'm sure I'll update you anyway. We got to vlog tonight. Me and Amy are in a McDonald's. Got a large drink. I'm mean, sorry, I had to force Amy to have that. And then I got a meat chicken sandwich now and fries. And then we're gonna go and do a little bit of shopping. I need to go to Primark. And then the film starts at five, so we need to go to Tesco to get some snacks. Yeah. And then we'll go to Tesco's, get some snacks. Well, we're nipping to Primark, go to the bank, we can test it, yeah? Mm -hmm. And then we can go to the film. Oh, sorry, sorry. So guys, me and Amy have just come out of... <laughs> We've just come out of Primark and Poundland. Uh, I've got some new jeans, which I'll show you later, but they're just really nice blue jeans. And I've also got some 
snacks for the cinema. I think that's where we're heading now, isn't it? Yep. I'm going to watch Love, Simon. Um, it only came out like on the 6th and it's the 9th, so it's fairly new. And I'll tell you how it was when we've watched it. I'm definitely going to be getting a Tango Ice Blast because I haven't had one before. But they look really nice, so of course. I think I'm gonna get one. We're in the arcade afterwards, um, because that's where we waste the most money, but now we're just in Tinny World. And Amy got a Tango Ice Blast. <laughs> so we're just in the cinema now. Um, this is my first Tango Ice Blast, and um, it's incredible. I love it. We've got the large. You have to, don't you? Um, and we're going to we'll just wait in for the movie to start. Um, what time is it, Am? It is. So we've got about 15 minutes before we have to go. So, yeah, that's what we're just doing. And then when I get back, hopefully, I go to the gym. Mm. Hopefully. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm having a good day so far. I'm really enjoying it. Um, so yeah, have you had a good day, Ams? Yep. Yep. Good. So everybody, me and Amy have just come out of the film. I'll let you know how it was later, because we're currently in an arcade, and we're just about to have a, a quick go in the arcade. So that should be fun. And um, yeah, I'm really happy. Um, yeah, all I'm going to say now is that the film was absolutely incredible and I do recommend it, but I'll talk to you more about that later. But yeah, I'm kind of hungry as well. I might have to get dinner because I'm absolutely starving. I shouldn't be, but you know. McDonald's, I swear I live in McDonald's. So guys I've got to hurry up but I'm just on my way home. I've had a lovely day but the bus comes in literally 10 15 minutes and I'm like the other side of town to where the bus stop is so gotta be quick. So everybody I am in the car and uh, my sister's just got a new car um and we've just been for a little drive um i can't wait to get my first car because i can like stand you up there and have like a drive with me how cool would that be anyway so yeah i've gone for a drive i'm back now and basically what i wanted to talk to you about earlier was the film so the film was called love simon everybody i was just editing this video and uh my meth throat by the way i'm not feeling very well and i, I realized that that katie didn't explain the film very well so let's talk about the film so it was not simon and basically it was <clears throat> this boy he seemed to have a perfect life he was in high school he had loads of friends and he he loved it <clears throat> and he had a secret and nobody else knew it apart from him. And then somebody posted, because they all have this, like, school, like, chat web page where they can all post, but it can be anonymous as well. And somebody put up an anonymous post saying that they're gay and they, you know, they can't tell anyone and things like that. So, and he, like, named himself Blue. So when I talk about Blue, that's the guy who um, anonymously told everybody he's gay. And... Simon obviously read that and thought, do you know what, I can actually chat to this person because we're so similar. 
because obviously Simon had a secret too. <clears throat> so Simon spoke to Blue, and they was getting on really, really well, and Simon was saying that, oh, they should, you know, they should come meet sometime and things like that, and they kept putting it off because obviously they knew it was in the same school, but obviously they didn't know who each other was because they their na nicknames was Blue and Jock, and yeah, so... It, Simon came out to one of his friends early and they accepted it really well, which is good. But he was on the school computer one day talking to Blue and this other person in his class really liked his one of his friends, Simon's friends that he was hanging around with. And he found the emails between Blue and Simon and obviously he knew his secret then. And he was like, well, if you don't, um get me with your friend then i'm gonna show everybody because i've saved them which is absolutely horrible but it's what people do in this day and age and i feel like it's really disgusting that people can actually feel like oh blackmailing people is the way to get what i want because it's like definitely not um so sam tries to help him at the end of, at the end of it um it fails because the person doesn't like the other person that's blackmailing so um, the person tells everybody about Simon's secret and Simon gets a bit of hate for it and all of his friends fall out with him and things like that and his life seems to go pretty much down the drain because it's obviously not just him but it's Blue as well that they exposed. Um, obviously Blue, nobody knew who Blue was still but like obviously somebody knew that there was somebody else gay in the school. So, it became a big thing anyway. Sam was getting really upset about it. He didn't know what to do. Um, he came out to his family and he was, like, dealing with it all. And he basically said, put up a post, which was really emotional, actually, uh, which actually made me cry, saying that, you know what, I, I am gay and I don't, I don't care what other people think. Um, I think, it obviously, in a nice way, he didn't put it up like that, um, but, like, in a nice way. And it was a really powerful message um that shone through that and was basically saying it doesn't matter what you know gender preference that you actually like um at the end of the day you are still you and nobody else can change that because at the end of the day he's been gay since he's 16 uh 16 so like a few years now or something and at the end of the day he was still that same person even though he's still like he's still like males and it does show through a really powerful message. And, you know, he, he says, oh, I'm blue, meet me on the, what are they called? Them roundabout things. You go up in the sky and then you come back around. That, anyway. And um, he did, well, it got to the last, he got, he, he gave the man loads of, like, tickets that will cover him for loads of rides. And he just ran out. And then the guy exposed him and says, oh, have a ride on me. That's your last one. Uh, and then the guy actually shows up blue and they have a kiss on the round of in that roundabout thing. And it was just absolutely amazing. And it just showed them like how their lives are getting back together and everybody's dealing with it and he's still happy and everything goes right and it just shows that it doesn't matter what gender people like, you know, um it just it just shows a powerful message that at the end of the day you are still you because you like different genders it doesn't mean that you're different from anybody else because at the end of the day you're still you and i just feel like that movie showed a really powerful message um to everybody so yeah i really enjoyed it so if you love films like that then definitely go and give it a watch <laughs> sorry for the long convo Earlier, I went to Tesco's with my sister into the car and I got some Pringles and I've nearly ate them all, so <laughs> I mean, that's great. Thanks. Oh, she's biting me! You, Missy, needs to be sorted out. Come on, then, let's have a fight. Um, yeah, 
I forgot to end the vlog. Whoops. We're not vlogging that often. Sometimes I really do forget, so I do apologise. But um, at least I'm still here. Not pretty face anymore. Um, and in the vlog for you anyways. I really had a good day. I really enjoyed the vlog. Um, and it was just a really amazing day. Do you know sometimes it's good to just take a day off, do what you want to do, have fun and... Um, yeah i loved it it was a freaking amazing day um we'll do it again in a heartbeat so i hope you enjoyed it too amy and all you guys at home i hope you enjoyed it as well um i definitely did and i'm so glad i got to record it and like vlog for you guys and share it with you as well shared my amazing day so if you did enjoy the vlog remember to smash a thumbs up and also subscribe down below if you haven't already and i'll see you very soon with another vlog love yous Bye.